morning, everyone. It's a, a meeting of the Senate Natural Resources and Energy Committee, and today is Thursday, May 7th. It's 10 o'clock, so we're going to get started. Um, so good to see you all. And as a committee again, uh, Senator Rogers is uh, can't join us, but he has sent in to Jude, and she's going to redistribute it to all of us, um, a Elijah, list of um, his priorities. Uh, flag. <laughs> yeah. screen. Whoops. Okay, so is everyone all set? I see Senator Campion, kind of. Uh, Senator Campion, are you all set? I am all set. I'm just uh, decided to step outside and Wait. I'm gonna try to get, there we go. I don't know if you can see me. The garden looks beautiful. Thank you, thank you. It's coming along, coming along. Good old Mount Anthony in the background. Tree wow. needs a little trimming there. <laughs> I think I'll turn it's, this way. It's greener where you are, I would say. It's much greener where I am, even though we too are expecting some, uh, Snow guess, some, cold, some cold weather. Okay. So okay. I've sent the email to everyone, and as per our committee, uh, assistance requirements, I am supposed to take myself off the screen. So I'm here listening and I can talk. But. All right. If we have an emergency, we'll be calling on you. <laughs> yeah, okay. We'll try not to have an emergency. Right. Okay. Okay, well, great. So um, thanks, committee, for getting together. Um, uh, in terms of working with the uh, Pro Temps office, uh, right at the moment, one of the tasks assigned to every committee is prioritizing work from here to the finish line. And I think it's still a work in progress. You know, what do we mean by the finish line? I think there's a near-term finish line, which my sense is it hasn't been clearly stated yet that early June, we may have budget adjustment plus first quarter budget for FY21. That'll get passed and we'll I don't know, go into some sort of more dormant phase as a legislature and be returning uh, something like August, September for a final budget for the balance of the year. How much, so the, this is a tricky planning session we're being asked to engage in because it's not clear to me exactly how much time we have right now and until we pass that first uh, set of budget documents and then how much time we'll have when we come back, say August, September, are we? Um, so uh, I apologize that I can't lay out sort of clear parameters to help us make all our decisions right now, but I just wanted to let you know the framework we're working in. And I think we're still being asked to drive anything that's anything that we see that's COVID impacted that we should prioritize addressing that. And then secondly, looking at the balance of work that's in our committees, either our, or, or in the Senate, um, either our own bills, we have two bills that we voted out that one's on the calendar, the other's in finance and could be out, I think probably in short order, it's our plastics uh, and waste bill. Um, and then we have you know, a, a few big bills that came over from the house in our in basket. So uh, what I'd like to do is just talk with all of you and hear your thoughts on uh, you know, the list, I, the email I just sent out that gathered together two earlier emails. Basically the breakout is, you know, there's the COVID bucket, anything that we need to get done sooner rather than later because COVID's impacting something in our jurisdiction. Then secondly, non-COVID. So I would put in that bucket, things like uh, the Act 250 bill and then Third, um, the two working groups have asked us to contribute. Senator Campion, you're a vice chair of one. You may want to fill us in in your own words what your group is looking for. But the, uh, between an email from Senators Westman and Campion, plus a call from Senator Pearson on the other working group, the two, the things that we've been asked to contribute to the working groups are, as I understand them, for one working group, what entities will need assistance as our economy restarts? And secondly, what lessons for the short term and the long term have we learned so far so that we might try to um, uh, 
record those or do some, you know, in some way, keep track of the lessons learned um, with an eye, I think really on, um, you know, like the next session. Uh, but, so that's it for the, the framework. And then the rest of those, the emails lay out, one of them is a list of bills. And then the other one was a list I sent out two days ago, all the areas that we work in that I thought we might um, just send it as a memory prompt, like, are there things happening in these areas that we should be working on? So let me stop there and say um, on the, on, um, well, any general discussion before we start to work our way through those lists? I mean, the only thing I, I might add, if I may, yeah, please. Uh, is, uh, I mean, there are things, of course, that I think we'd all like to, to see happen. It's partly it's timing. If, if we're looking at, you know, two more weeks possibly of, of, of session before we take a, a break, um, I don't know how we would get to things like from you know the Global Warming Solutions Act or even Act 250 stuff, I, unless I'm I'm misreading something. I mean, those are things that are exciting and I think really important. Um, but I just trying to also deal with a, a level of reality. And I look to you, Mr. Chair, to say to ask, you know, is this are these things that we actually could get done? Yeah. Um, well, I, you know, this is. Uh an open discussion amongst all of us. We've all been involved in all of this work. So I wanna make sure that everyone feels that their voice and priorities get heard as we sort our way through. But if we have really only through the end of this month, um, basically three weeks to work. And even if we're meeting every day of the week, Tuesday through Friday, two hours. Um, and I think I say two hours because Zoom is not the same as a normal committee meeting in my experience. Like I'd say a two hour, 90 minutes to two hours, I'm finding it's kind of a good maximum dose of Zooming at once for productivity. Um, at any rate, so round up to two hours, that would be even at four meetings a week, that's eight hours and three weeks, 24. Um, we could, I would say, honestly, we if we were to work on Act 250, the entire bill we received, um, even if we spent all the time we have, I'm not confident that we will have felt like we did our due diligence on Act 250, which has been under development since September 25th, 2017. You know, that's when the commission first met that was the driver for the bill that we got. So um, there, that said, uh, not to stick to Act 250 too much, but I'm also thinking about, uh, are there elements of things? So we'd say, well, for instance, Act 250 doesn't seem feasible to take on that entire bill, but we know there was a sticking point um, around trails and exposure to Act 250 liability. Um, and our economy is challenged and we have an outdoor recreation industry that could be one of the brighter spots, you know, of, of, the, of the businesses that could get restarted in tourism and, and recreation. Things like trails might be a particularly good opportunity. So that's a great uh, point. Would, Absolutely. To kind of look at just pieces, particularly, I think the trails piece is something that right. I think we'd all be interested in. Um, and there will be sort of deeper dives and less deep dives on that. For instance, there was a jurisdictional opinion, um, either one or two of them, we need to get some uh, help with Michael Grady from sorting through the, the filings and the status um, to find out where things are. But um, if we, one possibility, for instance, might be a moratorium on uh, implementing a jurisdictional opinion as it relates to trails, while the full trails working groups come up with something that I would call um, something like the AMPs of trails, you know, and we don't have a published set of AMPs, I don't believe yet for, for trails. Um, so uh, we know there's an opportunity there. There's some legal clouds hanging over it that I think are holding people back. Can we um, get rid of the legal clouds for at least the balance of this year would be a question I have. 
Um, any thoughts on, on 250? Yeah. 250? Yeah, Senator McDonald. I, I thought it was a coin flip when we, uh, whether we get it wrapped up when we took recess back in, in March. And I don't, I think it's impossible to deal with at this point to do deal with responsibly. Um, the trails issue is if we weren't doing an Act 250, looking at Act 250 bill, that would have come up anyway. Right. So I would treat that as a separate issue. Okay. All right. So um, is the committee generally interested in if uh, in looking into the trails thing, if that's sort of a discrete piece of work we can do uh, going if, forward with the time we, we have? If we weren't going to be tasked with finding a, the inevitable or the end solution, but put right. a pass, pathway, no pun intended, to uh, yeah. to get to one. Okay. Um, great. Senator Perrin? No, I think that makes sense. Okay. Um, so Global Warming Solution Act, um, that to me is uh, a complicated and deep bill. And, um, uh, you know, I'm open to working on it. The challenge I see is that uh, it's a a major shift in energy policy and uh, that was developed over a period of months with intense testimony. Um, I have some serious questions about it and I'm guessing you all do too. And so, um, although I'm open to, if it's a committee priority to working on it, just to be direct about it, I don't see that we have the capacity to dig into that at this point and pass that, um, unless we're gonna get a lot more committee time than is my current understanding. Agreed. What, what are other people thinking on that one? I agree. I, I agree. I, the interesting thing about the global warming issues is that this whole COVID, COVID business has been a, um, kind of a, a lesson in how you know, what happens when you put things off and don't tackle them head on. Right. Uh, I think many people have said that. Uh, what what are other people thinking on that? I agree. Uh, yeah. I agree. I, the interesting thing about the global warming issues is that this whole COVID, COVID business has been a um, kind of a, a lesson in how you know, what happens when you put things off and don't tackle them head on? Mm -hmm. uh, I think many people have said that. Uh, what what are other people thinking on that? I agree. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm working on the, it's showing the right. thing about global warming issues is that this whole COVID, COVID <laughs> business has been a. Um, is everyone getting this? this? Yes. Okay, just want to make sure. I mean, I, I enjoy hearing Barbara. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what, what are you people thinking of that? I agree. Jude, are we, Jude, are we picking up the YouTube feed into Zoom? Yeah. There is, there's some problems. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. Is everyone getting this? this yes. Is, okay, make sure. I mean, I, I enjoy hearing Mark. <laughs> I agree. Jude, are we, Jude, are we picking up on the... You this is around. Yeah. There is, there is some problems. It's going to be... 